hello and welcome back again to my channel today i'll be teaching you how i made this square spider-man cake for my son's birthday so keep on watching i already cut the cake into the shape i wanted and now i'm just making sure that i have my stable whipped cream for the square cake if you know square cake very well then you know that you need to work with a stable whipped cream or a stable frosting whichever one you you decide to use so i'm using a whipped cream frosting here for this square cake and if you would like to have my stable whipped cream recipe it's still up for grabs just comment if you're interested so this is the cake after i've trimmed it i'm just going to layer it and frost it and you'll see how i do it i'm adding my melted chocolate on the board so that i can stick my cake on it i'm trimming my cake right now I just had to speed it up so that the video will not be too long and i'm applying my stable whipped cream this is a different recipe and i'm just going to crumb coat this the birthday boy requested for a spider-man cake a power rangers cake and a what's the name what's the third name i'm trying to remember a pj mask cake and also a football cake so that makes it four cakes my son requested for all because i'm a baker hmm last year i made him a pj mask cake the year before i made him a pj mask cake is always requesting for pj mask cake so this year when he requested for a pj mask cake i just told him outrightly that no way i'm not even making any character cake for you and he was like mom please i want my character cake i want my spider-man cake and one of the reasons why i said i'm not going to make the character cake is because my son jumps a lot like he can jump from the top of a cupboard down it can jump from the top of the chair down it can jump it can climb the window and jump down like it's always forming spider-man 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 forgetting that this spider-man is watching on tv is a fake spider-man and if he decides to jump like that god forbid anything bad happens to him or he breaks his leg god forbid so i just said okay i'll make you a spider-man cake this year but from next year no more character cakes except for cakes that you know does not have any business with jumping and all of that or any fighting because i won't lie to you i am so done with all the jumping jumping anyways i decided to make this um spider-man cake a different shape i initially wanted to make it a square cake then i said okay let me make it a rectangle cake but then last minute i just said you know what let me change the shape of this cake to this shape i don't know what this shape is called but it looks like a square like a double square it also looks like this l shape you know it, it, this can actually go for if you're making like a house sometimes you can use a shape like this something close to this so i decided to make this and i also made this video for my online class so it was an opportunity for me to just show them how the stable whipped cream you know works and how it holds up on the cake you know square cake takes a lot a long time to work on on like round cakes so definitely you can tell that the whipped cream is stable just by looking at it in my online class i shared my three best stable whipped cream recipes with them i didn't only show them how it works or whip it up for them to see and give measurements i also showed them how it's actually holds up on the cake and how stable it can be for 12 to 24 hours including my room temperature whipped cream recipe that has never failed i mean that recipe can stay for two days yes but because whipped cream is mainly milk based you don't want to keep it for 24 hours 48 hours at room temperature i mean you don't want any issues you don't want any food poisoning issues so you want to keep your whipped cream cakes in the fridge or in an airtight container in your freezer and whenever you want to eat or you want to consume it you bring it out allow it to room temperature and you're good to go all i'm doing is crumb coat this cake if you're still watching this video up to this point thank you so much please drop a comment for me in the comment section be sure to like this video and if you're new here subscribe and be a part of this family so just watch and enjoy watch and learn and i'll be back shortly
we have our stable whipped cream that i'll be using to finally frost the cake so that's the final layer of the cake i'm about to do and you can see how stable this whipped cream is with a stable whipped cream you won't even be afraid to cover a square cake or hexagon cake or any shape of cake and good cakes are very technical so you want to make sure that you pay attention to the edges and you also want to make sure that you are using enough frosting don't don't expect your angled cakes to consume the same amount your round cakes will consume so prepare your mind to use enough frosting to cover your angled cakes whether square hexagon or any other shape a side round cake okay it will just make your work very easy and fast by the way i have a detailed master class on square cake covering on my channel you can also check that out so now i'm applying the final coating and i'm just going to allow you watch and enjoy <music>
This is the final look of the watercolor effect. I went ahead to add his topper, his name, age, and some Spider Man characters. We took the cake to his school and he was here giving me the Spider Man moves again. We cut the cakes and shared with his teacher. Now, take a look at the birthday boy. He had a Spider Man themed photo shoot by his father. If you enjoyed watching, please like, comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.